Melanie says, hello all. I have a question about Teams. I just downloaded it as a free version. All right. And this begs the question, is this the old free Teams or is this the brand new? Okay, this question is a January question. So uh, yeah, should I think it's the new version of Teams free. I have added people to talk to who have a professional version, but we do not succeed to video call or just call. The icons are in gray. Can you help to find out why and how to fix it? Because I keep looking online and I don't find any solution. So, I, I, it, Stacey, yet. I, I'm, I'm just going to throw out some initial thoughts here. FYI, Teams, chat, scheduling meetings, blah, 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 free with your tenant, period. If you're adding telephony services on to Teams, voicemail, um, you know, 800 numbers, or, you know, whatever numbers are like, there's an additional fee, but out of the box, like majority, you know, other than God is, uh, it, it's all free. So what are they calling? So I'd like another differentiation between free and professional version. Yeah. Well, the new Teams yeah, free version. Um, yeah, so go ahead, yeah. go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say, you know, professional version, if we're talking, do you know, if it's an enterprise or something like that, it may not have been given permissions for them to be able to communicate with the free version in the first place, because you've actually got to say, can you actually deal with external, are you federated, are you all sorts of things it's like that professional to free it's like it's not necessarily there unless the professional if it is professional as in a some kind of an enterprise license or a government license or something like that it needs to be specifically um put in as a permission in the back-end administration to communicate with the free so, so so what you're saying is so if and correct me if i'm wrong but what you're differentiating between free and not Profession. free professional mm. right is just the settings that are already behind the scenes that you turn on and off. So it's no, no, already no. there. No, no, no. I'm saying that you've got your free version that you can just download, and then you've got an enterprise purchases their enterprise license, and though and the enterprise license has back end administration settings to actually go. Can you speak with those that are outside the organisation number one? Or can you even communicate and connect with those free versions to be able to talk with anyone in the world? So if it's not turned on for external federation or external communication, they're not going to be able to communicate with each other. Okay, so you're not talking about Teams, the application, which is free to everybody always, yeah. right? No. You're talking about the, config, the, the level of configuration from one standpoint to the other. And yes, I'm playing yes. this out. Y'all get that, right? So yeah. at the point where they're, when the configuration becomes free to where you can do more extensive configuration within your environment, correct, Christy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's, you know, it's hard to know what, what they're classing as free to professional because if it was a small business, you know, you get your small business version mm -hmm. to your free version, it's still a paid, it's still got administration stuff in the back right. end. But the, is it, the team's is it, free is completely yeah. free. The team's free. Because yeah. when we talk about team's free, email. we're yeah. talking about the non-work related emails. So you can sign up via Gmail, Hotmail, yeah. whatever it is that's that's out there. I mean, I've got it on my phone. I mean, I've yeah, got the, the issue Skype. here. Yeah. And so I, you know, it's, yeah, it's essentially like Skype. Yeah. Um, yeah. It works the same way. And and to the, to the point is that, uh, so right now, um, I mean, this is a bad example uh, of this, but like I've got it in here. I have actually connected to another of my own profiles so I can actually share things and, you know, between my two profiles and I'm testing out different features, but the video and the, the phone icons are grayed out and nothing's there. But part of the reason is because my other counterpart, my other me uh, is offline. And so that may be one reason why that feature set's not there. But I mean, I have had just in the chat capabilities of Teams Free, so the new, which is available on iOS, I believe it's only iOS yep. still right now. Um, I've had uh, uh, chat capabilities and video capabilities. We've used those features. So, mm -hmm. I mean, there could be a number of reasons why it's off. The, the person could be offline. Uh, it, they could have, in fact, it even says at the top of this, um, so my other profile, Christian Buckley is part of an organization, message related policies might apply, learn more. Um, so uh, reasons why some features might be turned off. Yep. So the 
there's a lot of policies, right? And teams. So you have the free version, but you may or may not be seeing what you think you should be seeing just because of the policies that your your corporation has set, right? So that's always question one. What have they set, right? It may have nothing to do with free version versus what they call professional. It just may be the settings that they have done inside the tenant itself. Yep. Yeah. So I, I mean, the first question I would always say to, you know, to, to Melanie is, because uh, it's one of those where, you know, it'd be great to be able to ask questions around this, but is there, are there other people at, within your, the organization or this, this community that you're setting up that also have the free version of Teams and yet they're able to use the icons? Is it just you? Is it, I mean, if you have somebody that has a paid version, are they able to, uh, and and are you able to see each other in the chat and do the text-based chat and just not use the other features? Can they initiate? That's the first thing I would try is, can they initiate a video chat um, to yeah. your free version? Um, because that, you know, may open it up. It may, I mean, that you're, you're going to be able to see as you troubleshoot this, whether yeah. it's, is it you? Uh, is it them? Is it the policies? And then go yeah. from there. Yeah, so if you have to keep in mind, there's multiple different policies too. Even comparing to someone else still depends mm. on the policy that that person has to adhere to versus you, right? So yeah. the, those factors, you got to ask a lot of questions. So I really wish, Christian, you'd get that button made that says it depends, <laughs> right? Yeah, the it depends okay. button. I yep. have more questions for the question. And then it just works. <laughs> but when you hit it, it depends. But then it just somehow works. Works, yeah, yeah. 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 So there's a lot of unknowns in that scenario. Yes, maybe. Yeah. No. Okay. It depends. Right. Um, kind of, sort of. Kind of, sort of. Thank you, Hal. That's the one I'm looking for. Kind of, sort of. Kind of, sort of depends. Right. Yeah. There yeah. you go. So, uh, yeah, I wish there was a straight answer for some of those types of things. But unfortunately, in uh, in this world, there's just not with the different types of policies and whatnot that you can. It's a, you it's can. a troubleshooting thing. Yeah, you've just got to try different things. To, you, know. you may have it, but the person next to you may not. I mean, literally, that is the world we live in. After yeah. all, it is teams. Yeah. It is teams. It's, That's, it is teams. It's, yeah. It is teams. Yeah. It is permissions. It is policies. Yeah. Yeah, it really is. And whatever those meetings, policies in your admin centre for teams, you know, looks like, you know, there's there's a whole heap of different ones under the sort of the general global policies and what does it look like under your meeting settings and what have you turned on or off there? Can anonymous even come in? Can you do this? Can you do that? Can you? There's a whole ton of different settings. So, yeah. a, great, a great example is I have an organisation where they have one of those um, open office scenarios right so you know people that have nothing to do with each other can sit right next to each other right and just so happened that i got a request and like hey this individual's you know they're contacting sales and their it and whatnot and within the organization they have no problem chatting with them they can share files they can do this they can do that but this person put in a ticket and says, hey, this person can do all these great things, but I can't do them. Their role is dealing with external clients. Hmm. And it's important that it's on. Right. So they have a whole new different set of policies and things that they can and can't do. There's certain things that can't cross for obvious reasons. And it so it just really depends on who you are, what your role is, and what you need to accomplish within your organization.